up my friends and welcome back to another segment of Kawiki News. And today we're going to start off of course as always with movie news. Now to start off, Man of Steel has been confirmed a sequel. I'm not going to say much about this, but Man of Steel 1 wasn't that great for me. I don't know how great number 2 is going to be. As everyone knows, last week Suicide Squad came out on Friday. Now before the movie was public to everybody, there was private screenings of the movie. And the people that went to go see this private screening gave a review on Rotten Tomatoes and it's not very good. Now a lot of the DC fanboys and girls decided to get together to create a petition to ban Rotten Tomatoes. Now, I don't know if you know, but Rotten Tomatoes isn't just one guy. It's oh, that Rotten Tomatoes guy gave a 42% on Suicide Squad? That Rotten Tomatoes guy needs to be put down. We need to create a petition. Surprise, Rotten Tomatoes isn't just one critic, it's multiple critics. It's where fans can go as well as critics to give a review on a movie. Now, the last piece of news is Suicide Squad but it relates to Jared Leto. Jared Leto said, It felt like if a film was ever going to be rated R, it should be the one about the villains, as well as, I brought so much to the table in every scene. I wanted to give a lot of options. I think there's probably enough footage in this film for a Joker movie if I were to die tomorrow. Maybe the studio would roll something out, a rated R or rated X performance in there somewhere. I wish this film was rated R. I actually said that when we were starting it. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Did you actually want Suicide Squad to be rated R? Personally, I think Suicide Squad should be rated R. Now onto a new segment of news, Olympic news. Because as we all know, the Olympics are going on over in Rio right now. And if none of you have seen it because it's been floating through the interwebs for a while now, a gymnast snaps his leg. <gasps> I will leave the video down in the description. It's that bad. Like his leg is just contorted. I feel bad for the guy. Now onto the last piece of news, which is gaming. Gaming could help teens perform better in school. Yes, there was a study done to see if video games could actually enhance school performance. Because a lot of video games involve puzzles and things you have to figure out with your mind, such as Uncharted. Check out last week's video, mention Uncharted. Selfless plug. Overall, teens who reported being regular gamers performed 17 points above average on science and 15 points higher on math and reading, according to the study. The study stopped short of finding a def definitive link between the activities and a student's performance. Now, on to the best part of Quickie News, I think. It is the outfit of the week. <laughs> this segment of Quickie News. And remember, it's all about you. And I will see you in the next video. You just gotta live long enough. See you guys.